You determine the Cartesian and polar equation for the given circle. Looking at the circle, notice how the center is at the origin, which is the ordered pair zero comma zero, and the radius r is the distance from the center to the circle, which in this case is five units. The Cartesian equation of a circle is the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center and r is the radius. Which means to find the Cartesian equation, we substitute zero for h, zero for k, and five for r, which gives us the quantity x minus zero squared plus the quantity y minus zero squared equals five squared. Simplifying, the Cartesian equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And now let's find the polar equation. We will find the polar equation two ways. Beginning with the Cartesian equation, the quickest, easiest way is to recognize that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, and therefore we can substitute r squared for x squared plus y squared. Performing this substitution gives us r squared equals 25, and that is alpha r would take the square root of both sides of the equation, which will give us a positive and negative solution, and therefore we include a plus or minus on the right, and we get r equals plus or minus five, which means there are two possible polar equations. One is r equals positive five, or r equals a negative five. Both are correct, but typically we would give the polar equation as just r equals five. So this is the quickest, easiest way to find the polar equation of a circle, but let's also show a second method using x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So going back to the Cartesian equation, we will substitute r cosine theta for x and r sine theta for y. Performing the substitution gives us the square of r cosine theta plus the square of r sine theta equals 25. The square of r cosine theta gives us r squared cosine squared theta plus the square of r sine theta gives us r squared sine squared theta equals 25. Notice on the left we have a common factor of r squared. Let's factor out r squared from the left, which gives us r squared times the quantity cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 25. And from here we should recognize the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared theta is equal to one. And since this is equal to one, the left side simplifies to r squared, again giving us r squared equals 25. And now we take the square root of both sides of the equation, just as before, which gives us r equals plus or minus five, or r equals positive five, or r equals negative five. But again, the most common polar equation would just be r equals five. But both equations are correct. I hope you found this helpful.